Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I've turned into a cat camera. You have. I have. It's my great transformation. What do you think? My makeover. I, li I like it. Good morning. Hey, we've got a pat in chat. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How's it going? How, how are you all? How are y'all doing? How, how are you Tuesdays? You got your face. I got my face. You got your face. I had to plug an extension cable into our extension cable and a charger into that to get it over here so I could charge the iPad while I used it. Not ideal, but it works. Look at this little, little thing. She's so cute. I realized yesterday that if you make a little tunnel for her, then she runs into it. She can't resist. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like Maru from from the ages beyond beyond. Do you remember? Maru from the ages beyond beyond. Yeah, you remember Maru? No. The who's cat. That? The cat that runs into the boxes. Oh, I remember you showing me Maru. Yeah. You used to really like Maru. I love Maru. Love Six says, finish your commission yesterday in record time. Win. That's amazing. Hey, well done. It's rare that you get faster <laughs> as an artist. I was still trying to figure out how to be faster. Hey Ben, good morning. Oh, there's Maru. There, there they are. There's Maru. There's a young looking Maru. Big, big pillowy puffy cheeks. That's a Maru. That, you should see Maru now. They're an old grump. When your cat puffs their cheeks and they've eaten lots of cheese, that's a Maru. <laughs> when they hide in a box and they give you that look, that's, that's a Maru. Alright, no cat means Because it says Maru's no at least 14 years old. Ah. Yeah. What a oh, little gentleman. Little, little grump now. A little gentleman. Puffy man. So I'm going to be working on more multiplayer today. What are you up to? I'm going to be helping you out. Oh. That's all I got on, is, uh, is helping you. Because uh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to stay for a super long time. So I okay. figured I'd just give you a hand. Oh, what are you going to help me with? Anything you want. Hmm. Moral support, uh, helping you test things, whatever you'd like. Okay. Look at these. Oh, oh. my gosh. Hold on. They're so cool! Martina! Look at these amazing hardbound thumbnails Martina's done for so us! So awesome! They're all individual Sorry, as well, what the heck? They're all in what? They're all individual! Yeah! That's awesome. I was expecting you to do a different illustration for every single one. That's so cool! Oh my gosh, Martina, you're the best! Martina was asking when would uh, we like the series to go live? Ooh. On what days? It's a great, it's a great shout. How many more um, magic boys do we have left that are gonna go up? That goes through until the end of September. Till the end of September. Yeah. Well, we could start putting them in the gap days if you want. Yeah. We could either wait for the end of magic boys, or mm -hmm. we could just start putting them in the gap days or on the weekends. Because um, uh, magic boys isn't doing very well. <laughs> There's, there are very few people who watch it. Very few people. Which is like fine. Yeah. Like, if those people enjoy it, that's awesome. Uh, but it's not like it's a huge thing that's happening on our channel that we should, we have to, like, like make leave the room way for, for it. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like it to be doing well. Yeah. Like, I'd love that, but it's not, it's not, it's not the way it's going. So. Yeah. Maybe, well, I think we have Magic Boys on. Oh, wow. Oh. Hey, you all drop these. <laughs> oh, thanks for finding Thank them. You. Thanks for picking those up, mate. I dropped our bank card. No, doig. Yeah. What? Where? When we were in the market, <gasps> I dropped it. No, did yeah. you just did you pick it up too fast and not tell someone me? Someone told, someone <gasps> had to, I was like, oh, where, it's not in my, where the, uh, and then someone came over and was like, you dropped that. I was like, that's the very thing that I've. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How did I not see that? You were too busy looking at cakes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And did you check that we have all the other bank cards? Uh, yeah, we did. It's because I just used uh, used it, it to pay for something. And then I was taking the wallet out of my pocket and it 
pulled the card out at the same time. Oh my gosh. You should have your card in your wallet. Oh, the old lesson of yes. returns. <laughs> this is what I, tell I know. You. Stop taking it out. But I thought we were I was gonna go over and get coffee immediately. That's that's what I thought we were doing. So long as so long as we got it back, it's all worked out. You should you should try and keep it in the wallet as much as possible. I do try. <laughs> try harder. No harm done. Nah. Oh, it's scary though. It's scary though. Oh, Biotrice says, oh, I love Magic Boys. Thank you. Thank I'm really you. happy you're enjoying it. One of the latest ones that went up was you yelling, uh, Ragnar, we must adopt this child. Oh my gosh, I remember that child. We sure locked around a whole town. Yeah. And then tried to adopt a child. We've been sleuthing. I think it, honestly, I think it's getting into the better better content now in the series <laughs> how far through are we uh Whoa. episode 30 something it starts to get good around episode 30 guys I we're promise. like one piece <laughs> oh my gosh patrick thank you so much thank you for the gifted subs congratulations psycho vfx mama birdie jalwa lag jpeg fur mb and rinse thing nice congratulations guys enjoy your sonic worms you know as you do enjoy them enjoy them mush them <laughs> into a paste don't lick them don't lick don't a what, sonic worm i don't know why they're damp uh, but i don't advise that you lick them do you reckon you get like like a surge of power if you licked a sonic worm <laughs> what like licking a sonic quill yeah <laughs> i don't know maybe <laughs> licking the worm is just like licking the quill mm. thank you for the follow so let's see. We have Magic Boys, I think, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Is that the right? Is that right? What? Uh, Magic Boys. Is, is it Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays? Yes. So then we have Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays free. Yes. So we could always put the Heartbound stuff up then, if you like. Or we could do Heartbound on Saturdays and Sundays and just double up. Um, what do you think, Martina? What do you guys in chat think? Oh, the worms are out. Oh, everyone's taking their worms out. Nice worms. <laughs> nice worms, guys. Looking good. <laughs> Sonic maggot. How dare you call him a maggot rent rinse thing? It's a worm. Sonic worm. Sonic worm. Sonic worm. Trouble gets you crawling faster. Sonic worm. Sonic worm. Sonic worm. Save planet from disaster. Sonic Worm, Sonic Worm, Sonic Worm. Rolling through a world in motion. Worm, 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 Sonic Worm. I like saying worm, but like Englishy. Sonic Worm. Sonic Worm. I don't know how to say it in English. Sonic Worm. 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 Worm. Sonic worm. That's how you, that's got it. That's a Scottish one. Worm. Can you say worm? Worm. 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 It's just like film. Worm. 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 Oh, Patrick's telling us to get on with the show. Oh yeah, okay, fair, fair. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here just to, I'll just assist. Take care, Zach. Hello. Okay, well, let me show you what I got done yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's head on over. I think I already got the latest, right? You did, but okay. guess what? You're not the only one here. Well, what? You're not Who the only one here. Who are you, whoever it is you're talking to. Oh, at least Karzik is visible to you. <laughs> okay, let's go. So slow. I'm not. I'm not slow. <laughs> ha! I missed oh, a Martina. Oh, got a Moddy. She keeps it in line. I'm scared. I'm already here, Martina. I'm already here. Oh, yeah. So look at this. This is big dark floor, right? Big dark floor. Okay. Big dark floor. What's it gonna be, big dark floor? 
looks big and dark to me. Big Try dark and floor. talk to the audience, Martina. Um, big dark floor. What? What? Could, whatever could it mean? <laughs> mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? Whatever could it mean? Do 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 do. Pick an answer. I like how many arrows suddenly show up when you run it. It's 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 cause shush. <laughs> Ding. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. Oh. 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 <gasps> oh, I see. Uh, ask me a question, it goes by answer. Gotcha. Let me let me scroll up and find it. Uh, Martin says maybe on Sundays for eight weeks. We can do that. We can have heartbound Sundays. Look at them go. What do you guys think? Uh, to Martina's idea of having heartbound on Sundays. Make a mogus. I'll I'll wait for other people to come make an amogus. It looks like it's gonna be quite hard to make an amogus. No. I don't know if you could do it. Don't say stuff like that. I just don't. Then I'll like, it do looks it. Difficult. Look, you're you're not doing it very well already. See, it's hard. What are you trying to do? I'm jumping. Oh, I thought you were trying to make it a mogus. <laughs> Some of the cubes are in the way. Harder than it looks, huh? It's pretty hard. That's what she said. Yo! Can't believe you just said that. <laughs> what? Wow, it's hard, okay? Yeah, it's, it's funny because I can see what you're trying to do and I can see what's not happening. Oh, you're almost there. Oh, oh. You ready? You gotta get in there, dog. Do the eyeball. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's got a nose, but it's fine. I mean, I I, I need I get to it. it. I get it. Pretty good. It's pretty good, dog. Thanks. Good job. Pat says beautiful. Oh, you're giving it a little backpack. Oh, the backpack. If you come down and trim that leg, it'll have the backpack. <laughs> it feels like it's got his arms out either side. It works, so. Back, back. There you go. Nice. Good job. What do you think of the Hungry Hippo concept? I don't remember reading that one for some reason. Hold on. Let me double check. Because I read your ideas. But for some reason, I'm not remembering the Hungry Hippo one. Let me double check it. Also, I can put on a fighting stance and emotions. Oh, I love that idea. I love that idea a lot. Actually. Yo, it's it's hooked up to my mic. Oh, Onsta, yeah, it's hooked up to the um to the road. Do you want me to uh to the rocky road? That? Should I read that one out to chat? Or do you want to keep it a secret, Pat? Yeah, it's hooked up to both mics. Gotcha. You'll do you? Okay. I'll let me let me tell you guys what Pat's idea was. Um so I'll read it I'll read it just as Pat wrote it basically um, so more interaction with chat could be a lot of fun I was thinking of having two goals for the players 
and cannons controlled by the chat. The cannon oscillates back and forth, able to launch balls closer to one goal or the other. Chatters can spend dogger books to launch the balls and players have to try and grab them to bring them back to their own goals. Chatters can also launch bombs and other things to disrupt the players, creating a chaotic and frantic game with a lot of fun and comedic value. So basically you can choose to either launch a ball or a bomb and we've got to get the balls back to the goals. You're a mogus! No! So what have you got in your in your clever huge doigle brain next? I don't know. I haven't made a list yet. We were you made a really cool one yesterday where every single time you stepped on a colour. Yeah. Every time a colour changed, the colours for the entire board would change. Yeah, do you want me to put that back in and show them? <laughs> I mean you could. Doug and I tested it with two players and because when two players are on it the colors change so quickly uh we worried it was going to be bad for photosensitive people because it kind of flashes yeah i tried to do a timer and uh it didn't it did a whole different kind of thing so oh yeah how um uh basically it it individually picked random colors for the whole thing. It looked more like a random disco floor, honestly, but it didn't look very nice. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Let me show you. So yeah, my, my suggestion was that we have it change colors every half a second, rather than change colors depending on people changing the, uh, changing which blocks are lit up. But it sounds like that didn't work. Ah, uh, no, yeah, it, <clears throat> it had um, consequences when I did the first test of it. Like, it, it basically um, went through and changed every single floor tile to a random thing every, like, half second, but... Oh, it, but then you can't see which ones are lit up. Yeah, it was harder to see you that. You need them all to change into just like the same color. Yeah. So I, I need to create a script that controls all of them. Oh wait, we just figured it out. You did? Yeah. Do you want to do it or? I want to show them this first. Cause this is neat. I like this. Oh. Check. Oh. 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 If one would oh. make it too frequent on tile change, would it help to make the tiles bigger? It would. It'd make it kind of harder to uh, to change them then, though. I think they feel like a nice size to run over. I think you might still have the problem. Let's go. Oh, you jumped in. I jumped in. Hmm. You won't see it though. Oh yeah, mine's over here. Yeah, I moved it, but yeah. But you can still tell. Yeah. Like if we both do circles. It a gets a little much. bit, yeah, it can get a little bit <laughs> not great <laughs> for people who are photosensitive. I think I can imagine with four players or more, it's going to be even worse. Even worse, yeah. <laughs> See you, Pat. Oh, thank you so much. Night, night, Patrick. Sleep well. Oh, thanks, Pat. So, yeah. But look. Everything else is, is kind of working. Wait, you, you, uh, I'll get on your head, show them that. Check this out. So whoever gets on the person's head, it syncs up for them the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Ta da. Ta da. Hat mode. <laughs> Ta -da. 
I also discovered that Onsta has this funny run. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. Ta-da. But, um... Okay. Um... So yeah, I gotta make a list. Gotta th oh. figure out what to do. Gotta make a list. Check it twice. I could do. I could do um. A scoreboard. To score what? To score. Uh, I could do a, a set of goals, and like if if a thing goes into the goal, it scores a goal. Yeah, that'd work. Yeah. Yes, but we need a a round ball for that. We did a football. I have ball. That's a bowling ball. It's so? It's still a ball. I guess so. Ha. It'd be nice to have a ball for it though. I thought that would send you. <laughs> I think you want to choose a certain number of things that you want to make. <coughs> Okay. I know you're temptation just to make everything. Yeah. Um, and not really think about what it's it's for or what the larger idea is. How about today? Yeah. Because I think we really need this in, as well as the fun and games, and I don't want it to get lost and forgotten. Okay. How about today you focus on making uh, a cozy area for us all to sit together? Okay. And hang out. Okay. Get the, the bar area. Okay. Can I buy sushi? Yes. As long as I can eat it. No. <laughs> it's not it's not edible sushi. Oh it's fifteen bucks. What do you mean? It's a, like a little sushi set. Where where do the books come from? I, I can I, I it's I buy the model and the texture for fifteen dollars. Oh I see. Show it to me. Show uh, it to me. Bring it up. Let me see. One Miss Cromail, thank you. Let me go and find it. Oh, Lovesick says, Hi India, there's one week left of the thing I messaged you about, little girl. Very exciting. Yeah, whoa! I just saw your message this morning. I'm giving you a big, big old f thumbs up with my hand. What you is can't this? see it. I can't, we can't talk about it, it's secret. Who's this, who's this with? I, we can't talk about it, it's secret. <laughs> what don't you understand about it being secret? <laughs> Thank you. This uh, one. For letting me know. It's, um, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm going to do the thing. Little, little. Where? Uh, it's this. What do you think? I think it's cute. It's uh, It covers a lot of the table. Are you planning to have it cover that much over the table? Because I think it'd be nice for us to be able to put things down on the table. Oh, well, we can have a larger table or rearrange it. I assume each one of these is its own separate object. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think though? I think it's cute. I think let's start just by making our basic stuff. And then if you still want the sushi set after we've got the basic like table and chairs in and the bar, then we'll get it. Okay. Let's carve ourselves out a corner first. Also, this thing is absolutely rad. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? That's so cool. It's like a traveling, like, noodle thing. Oh my gosh. Why would you, where would you sit? Uh, I don't, I guess you'd have, like, a seating area around it. Oh, it's a car, it. Yeah, yeah. So you push it. Yeah. That's so cool. Right. I love the, uh, the fishing rods being the antennae for the, for the fish. I don't know what you call fish antennae, but... Oh yeah, that's that's really nice. So that's creative. 
why would you sell that for only ten dollars right isn't it great do you want a it? little whale at the bottom do you want it D no dog okay I, I love it, but I don't <coughs> think it goes with anything that we're doing currently. I think it could if we changed what if we're we doing. If we change what we're making to match this random thing we found online, we could yeah. download this thing online. <sighs> yeah. Why is this? What is this and why is it ten ten dollars Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty great for $10. It's interesting that I'm pretty much acting like the producer on this project right now. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You're, you're the Kanamori. I am. I'm having to act as the Kanamori. It's very unnatural for me. But yeah, let's get our basic space modeled in first. And then if you want the sushi set, we can buy it. Okay. How did they do textures? So low poly as well. That little swirl in there. The little no. swirls and all that wood. Swirls are nice. Yeah, they're very Wind Waker-ish. Swirl. All right. The sorting machine says the normal map on this model really makes it pop. Yeah, I, I agree. I think having uh, the things like the eyes look like they're carved into the wood is really nice. I saw another one that was really rad. Uh, might have been when I searched noodle bar. Yeah, Pilky says you have some sort. If you have some sort of port scene in the future, that can't be amazing for it. Agreed. <coughs> I feel like. If we have an island where there's like a little town or like some a little fair or something in there, then that car would be pretty perfect for it. <coughs> you hearing me, Doig? Yes, I'm also coughing. Okay, just checking. Jeez. Sometimes sometimes you're just absorbed in what you're looking at and you don't hear what I'm saying. No, I think if we had a scene like that, it would be really cool. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Where's Sonic though? He's always in my heart. And it says, I just wanted to mention that it felt pretty good the other day when I showed you the Quebec indie bookstore site that showed where all the French copies of Glim were. That was amazing. That was so cool. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy that it's in so many places. I hope it's in less places now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I hope, I hope a lot of them have sold their copies so that they're encouraged to buy more. Rio says I got so much Sonics for my birthday. It was nuts. What did you get, Rio? Do I have to be jealous? Wait, why is this purple now? I don't know. Oh, I almost missed that the thumbnail was behind me. Let me. Little lady's gone underneath my desk. It's like it saved what the emission color was. Oh, this is great. Thank you, Onster. Thank you, Onster. Thank you, Martina. Do you still have the game running? I do. Should I close it? Yeah, for curiosity. Okay. It's closed. Weird. Why is this still... <laughs> Martina says, thanks, Onster. Thank you, Monster, for this thumbnail. Oh my gosh, Rio says five Lego sets. Five! A figurine, a mug, and a water bottle. IDW Volume 2 collection and a blanket. <gasps> what a Sonic birthday that was! That's very good. That's amazing! Oh my gosh. Windfall! That's incredible! Oh, congratulations. That's fantastic. That's, I'm, I am jealous. That's amazing. Your friends know you well. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice.
Oh yeah, Indy, that's the thing I made. Oh, I we see it. Yeah. We couldn't get up there. Doug was like, I put secret stuff up here. And I was like, I can't get there. How about you move that stuff for now so that we have the whole room to play with and then you can pop it back later. Look at that huge cube out there. Yeah. Play with that huge cube. <laughs> What's that huge cube doing there? I don't know. All right, where do we want the bar? Where do you want to be able to sit with friends? You choose. Where would you see it? Well, I know there's a, uh, a secret thing in one place does that change where you might want to put it yeah potentially i mean i have i thought this area on the left would be like a relaxing area yeah like the bar and uh yeah okay that sounds good to me dog let's go for it so you think like you want these the noodle bar like along a wall or something yeah Uh, did you find some stuff on Sketchfab, or do you want me to find some stuff for you? You find some stuff. I did. I did look, but I didn't find anything. I found. I found the shark, the the whale okay. uh, cart. So how about I pop a few in chat for you, and you tell me what you think? Oh, it is in few stock in fewer stores before. Sixty nine stores. That means it's sold out in four stores. What? That's awesome! I mean, oh my gosh! Yes. Yes! Comic lovers, come on, please buy my book, please. The French edition's so nice. All right, Mike, here you are. I'm gonna pop some in chat for you, okay? Okay. So these should all be downloadable. And okay. most of them are free. Is there one, one that you like in particular? I'm interested to see what you like. Mm. So I'm considering ones where you'll be able to change the texture, but take the basic structure. Right, okay, okay, that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, you can sense. delete a bunch of the... The one I, I gave Doik has a bunch of bottles and stuff on the back, like you delete those, put your own things in. Yeah. There's a, a bar stool I'm linking in now, uh, in case you want a nice bar stool instead of crappy ones. <laughs> That's a nice bar stool. Mm -hmm. This is just a bar. Am I just a bar? Oh this one's pretty nice as well. This next one. This next one is just a grey box. Oh, the drink. Yeah. Whiskey wind. High quality at all times. I assume we'd get the textures for these as well, so we could replace them all with whatever we want. I guess so. Not that anyone's going to get this close. Sweet strawberry. Are these real? I don't know. I don't think so. Why are these backwards? <laughs> I think they just rotated them to make... I don't know. Oh, so they're the same as the ones... Probably. Yeah. 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 They just flipped them to make it look From different. Um, the next one I put in chat is a grey box. It's pretty nice. I guess so. And then the last one I have is four dollars. Um, but I think it's also quite a nice base for a noodle bar. A noodle bar. That one is quite nice. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's your choice. Wow, those bottles are very... <laughs> They're like a sip definitely, each. Definitely in there. Definitely high poly. Definitely models. Definitely good, good resolution. I got there in the end. You did. I just kept saying things until the right thing came out. This is a nice bar base, I think. Yeah. And then you could take out the stuff behind it and put whatever you want in. Yeah. Bar. 
stocked. <laughs> Any more? Any more like n specifically like noodly ones? No, but if you uh, right click Sketchfab to open it in a new tab, you could Google, sorry, you could sketch yourself. Sketch fab it yourself and see if you can see anything. Noodle. I just typed in bar. Bar. Noodle bar. I make sure you tick downloadable. So, uh, pickings are slim, as you can see. That's a whole ass building, dog. What if one side of the room was a building, like we're out, like it was, I don't know. The bar style here is nicer though. It's, it feels like there's, you'd need to take the top off though or raise the top up because that's, there's a really yeah. narrow window to see into it. Yeah, I agree. What's behind there? Oh, cooker tops. <laughs> You'd be paying $10 though just to get that thing. I could make this pretty bar. pretty yeah. easy. Exactly. Well, no, no, imagine like, imagine one wall was like this, like Spirited Away style. I mean, it'd look pretty neat, but. Yeah, like an indoor street. Yeah. I feel like you could, you could get some stuff like that maybe for free on this site. Oh, like, um. Japanese. Building or street or something. Oh, oh, that's seventy. Like, yeah, there are some down here. You might be able to get. A lot of these are scans. Oh, <gasps> I think so. Yeah, I worry about it being. Um, too, too high res and increasing the load times and stuff for your yeah your game. I think we should just keep it simple because that's adding a lot of stuff in that isn't necessarily doing anything. Yeah. Tory Gate. Tombo Fry says, Hello, I've been a stinky lurker for like a year or two now, and I just wanted to mention I bought Glim last week. <gasps> Love the art sound, honestly, just you two in general as well. Okay, back to lurking. Tombo Fry, thank you so much. That means so much to me. Thank you very much for buying the book. Thank you. Oh, I'm really happy that you enjoyed it. Thank you. It's, the support means a huge amount. How long have I been off screen? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, go on a train says like if it, if it was a facade. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Martina. Aw! Go on a train. Thank you very much for gifting a sub to Tombow Fry. You can, now you can lurk with your worm. Just imagine. Okay. My vote is on keep it simple, but yeah. you, you do your dog thing. We could get a ramen sign. Yeah, we could. It's $5. Which is like, honestly, perfectly reasonable for it. But if we don't have to spend money on this, I'd rather we didn't. We, we, we get money for it. No. That's meant to be for your labor, dog. I know. Oh no, someone's just recreated it for free. Where? Ah, you're hovering over it. That's dollars. Is it? Yeah. I didn't see. So cool. We could have it in the wall like this. Yeah, we could. I'm just, I'm trying to get ideas. Yeah. Have a little neon sign. <gasps> Jumpable on neon signs. 
Nice worm tombo fry. These are not good. No, they're terrible. Lady. No. Lady. Not the lady. Put Anything the lady the in lady. there. Get the lady. $20 <laughs> for the lady. All right. Okay, I'm done. Wait. Neo Tokyo. If you just type in bar, then you get some stuff. If I just type in bar. Yeah. <gasps> Little is Tokyo. Oh, India though. What? Look how cute this is. Yeah, it's very cute. What would you want to do with it? Stick Nothing. It to a wall. Just look, look at it. It's, it's super cute. Look at the little train. I love the little train. Aww. I love it. It's really cute. What's in here? Oh, oh secrets. Alleyway, secret. Secrets. I think you're just trying to get out of doing stuff now, aren't you? No, I'm trying to get my brain thinking in the right track. Are you testing me? <laughs> As someone who's trying to be your producer to see how much I can take. No, I'm trying to get my brain on track, like this train on that it track. It feels like there. your brain is getting off track. It's not. I'm try. I'm. I'm inputting. They have little signs. Mhm. Mm what do you see in your head? Where are we are? Where, what kind of space are we in? Um. Because I I'm in like a noodle bar, pizza restaurant. Uh, that, like no? arcade. Yeah, I mean, I was picturing either a, a kotatsu where we all sit on the floor around it. Yeah. Or a booth where we can all sit in there together. Okay. You know, with ample seating and ample space for everyone. And then a bar where you can go and grab like drink cans and bring them back to the table. Or like noodle bowls and bring them back to a table. Okay. And it's just like a really nice, warm feeling space where we can all just sit around and chat with our animatas. I got a katatsu. Yes, you do. Maybe sketch it out first. I mean, I think that would be... Uh, a great idea, but I know that Doi doesn't like doing that. You could sketch it. I could sketch you it. You could sketch Whenever it. Whenever I sketch it, you don't look at the sketch. I do. The pr the brick looks like your sketch. <laughs> Only because I had to keep telling you to look at the drawing. That's your role as producer. It's not. That that's me. My role as an art director. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't want to design this for you. I want this to be your thing. I want you to help me design it, though. You just don't want to make any decisions. That's not true. I'll make decisions based on what you give me. Doig. <laughs> Why don't you sketch something? <laughs> okay. Davil says, yay, Doigot! <laughs> the Doig noise is very good. <laughs> Eric says, uh, just Eric says, what if you make a conveyor belt for food going past and when chat uses certain commands, other items appear on the belt? That's nice. I like that. I like the idea of having a conveyor belt go past so people can just easily grab things and bring them to a table. Yeah. Because you have those in sushi places. Yeah, that's a nice idea. Instead of a belt, it could be boats in water. Oh, that's cute. Um, and go on a train says, Doig, when do you know when to use Blender versus Unity? Which is a really good question. Uh, like, when you're modeling stuff, how do you know which to do where? Because it feels like some things you just build straight into Unity, and some things you go to Blender first. If, you, if you're wanting to 
model, um, then use Blender if you. That's I'm <laughs> I'm struggling with the question. Well, because you you didn't make the cube and put it into Unity, did you? No. You just made it in Unity. Yeah. Likewise with the floor. Because there's a lot of like. Um, there's a lot of. Uh, in fact, almost geometric like stuff. Almost in. every single thing you have put in so far has been made in Unity, not in Blender. That's not true. What has been made in Blender apart from the characters? The environment. The the room. Yeah. See the walls. What about this all the wall, stuff in this the room? This wall, this floor, this floor tile, the barrel, Barry. The katatsu. That's so, all. That's all Blender. So is your answer that if it's a complex thing, to go for it in Blender, and if it's a simple shape, yeah, Unity can handle it. Yeah, like game object, three D object. You can have a cube, sphere, capsule, cylinder, plane, quad. You can get all this stuff. There's also Pro Builder and stuff. You can model environments in Unity, to a degree. I just haven't and don't. Mm -hmm. Primitives, that's the word, geometric primitives. But like, if you have Pro Builder, you could build out and spec out rooms with that if you if you really wanted to. So it's give and take. Like, uh, Pro Builder, Object, Editor, Pro Builder Window. Uh, shape where is it gone yeah so we could do up uh, I've never used this <laughs> um think where is extrude Builder can make help you do stuff like this. Oh, that's a really good way to do stair topology. Are you laughing at me? A little bit. It's cute. Why? Well, because you were literally just trying to make stairs the other day. <laughs> and? Nothing. I just think this is, it's just cute. So you discover new stuff. Um, but I think this uses like a mesh collider. Up to, so it's up to your choice, really. Now I have stairs. Ta da! Got a train says, I'm glad I asked. It's given me ideas. Heck yeah, that's awesome. I'm not, I want to see how the character controller handles so. stairs. Kitcar says I actually made a script to convert primitives in a hierarchy into an FBX or OBJ file so it can be imported into Blender or other game engines. That's awesome. <laughs> you can get up one step. Yeah. You get down them okay. Yeah. I guess you need shallower steps. Potentially. Oh, there we go. Nice. 
Yeah. Okay, dog, so weren't you up to something? You're about to do some sketches for the bar, if I remember right. You walk over pubes now. <laughs> oh no. Maybe a little bit too high. <laughs> This is becoming more Minecraft. Why? Because you can step up in Minecraft. You can step up in Minecraft. Yeah. You can step up in most games, can't you? But he's talking about spe stepping up on a block in Minecraft. Okay, I'm sorry. There we go. Because cubes are just terrain now. Yes, terrain cubes. What were you saying? I missed what you said. I was saying uh, that you were about to do a sketch of a bar. Oh, Whoa. yeah. Whoa. There it is. I'm not very good at this part of the process. Yes, you are. You're very good at this part of the process. You just never do it for some reason. A bar. So you're seeing it against the left wall. Yeah. I don't know why you're doing this to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing I don't know why you woke up today and were like, I'm, not doing I'm just going to make Swifty's life really hard today for no reason. I'm not doing She's going to sit here specifically to help me out and I'm just going to be the most difficult. I didn't know you were going to sit there. I think this could be a cool little vending machine. Uh-huh. Do you like my perspective? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll stop, I'll stop. The line tool's pretty good though. I did that pretty quick. Uh-huh. How, how would you have done it? Doink, it's not about how I would have done it. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, we've got a Chromel. NKL says, hello, I just want to say thank you to anyone who gave me good vibes the last stream I was in. I won't comment on the personal stuff, but I had two successful markets this week. One vendor bought their hedgehog and I got to pet and hold him. <gasps> His name was Uni. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Congratulations, NK. That's fantastic. Good job. Well done. Also nice hedgehog pets. Okay. Uh, how about I do a top down first? Okay, that sounds good. I hate it when Photoshop does that. This is the whole room. Yeah. Um, maybe it'd be good if the bar was like in a corner. Mm -hmm. And then have a seating area kind of around here. What's that square? That's a katatsu or a table. Oh, there are two. I think have one. We don't have want one. our party split up across two tables, right? Okay. The katats is pretty small. Well, then we're going to have to make a bigger one. Oh, we'll are have, we? Or have something different, like a booth. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. A booth would be nice. Yeah, like, what do you want? What do you think about the conveyor belt idea? I like the conveyor belt idea. So where would that be? It'd have oh. to be, like, along a wall, right? Yeah. I never left my feelings strong. 
conveyor belt like this. So I'm thinking, oh, I was seeing it running past the table, but that makes sense because then you still have to go to the bar to get stuff. Oh, you were thinking it would be... Because usually in those type of things, there's like a central bit and then the conveyor belt kind of goes... Yeah. yeah, I wasn't thinking like that though. I was thinking more in terms of like... Um, What's that cookie game called? It's really chaotic and you play it together. Oh, Overcooked. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking more like Overcooked, where we could just have a conveyor going across one side of the room. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, in your sketch you have currently, if it was running from the bar along the left wall, past the table, Sorry, say that again. Bar, bar along the left wall. Pass the table. Like this. Yeah. But you're drawing everything very big. I'd uh, make it much smaller. Like I'd have the um, bar take up less space. Because you're losing a lot of the corner having it like that. I might be tempted to square it off a little bit. But then I do like that you've gone with a curve for it. Nice flavour. Yeah, okay. The way we used to anymore. You don't have to wait. Martin says, so Injit, can I go ahead with scheduling the Sunday Heartbound vids? You can! Thank you, Martina. You certainly can. What room of the ship is this going to be? This isn't any part of the ship. This is completely separate to all the ship modelling we've been doing so far. This is purely a space just to hang out with people. That's it. So we don't have to worry about where it would fit. Think of this like a location the ship can go to. This is a test room. Basically, basically. yeah. What time? 7 p.m. your time. Uh, 7 p.m.'s good, yeah. Um, we normally do six, but I think a lot of people release their stuff at six. So maybe seven is better to avoid the crowd. You know, fashionably late. We only do it at 6 normally because of um, US time zones. Yeah, give us space for someone to go back there and play barkeep if they want. Yeah. And can we have some stools along it so people can sit while someone else plays barkeep? Wouldn't the stools interfere with getting stuff off the conveyor belt? Well, it depends where the conveyor belt is. If it runs past the table then probably not so you're just, okay it depends um but if you wanted to run along the bar instead the conveyor belt then we can just have some stools along one side let me let's have a look at like an actual sushi conveyor belt bar thing so we're both seeing the same thing dark belt says uh it feels like it's going to become more than just a test room so it makes sense to think what the location is going to be i'm trying desperately to keep it as a test room um, oh, I'm the, not. You're not? No. That arcade sushi bar locate, like, that's why it's got a theme and a, everything. So if you just want a fucking grey box test room, I can do that. Well, that's what you suggested. No, it isn't. I have always said, you were like, what do you picture as your ideal space? I was like, a cool room, like an arcade dungeon. Slash. I asked you what you what you felt confident making and what you wanted to do, and you said something like Barry's house. That was Just before. Like a that was before what? Uh, I managed to do multiplayer, and now let's go. Okay, so you d just didn't you didn't say that to me though. So. We had a conversation either yesterday or the day before, and you were like, "If you could have an ideal multiplayer thing, what what do you what do you see?" And I you, I said, "An arcade dungeon, really cool room." Yeah, and then what did I say? Why are you focusing on the environment rather than the characters? Yeah, because I thought you were trying to make a grey box thing. 
<sighs> yeah, I'd approach it differently if you, this is going to be something you want to slot into the ship. It's I don't want it in the ship. I was thinking that this could be like a location the ship could go to. A, a room. Yeah. Like, I, I'm thinking of it as if the ship were to be able to travel, etc. There could be a static place. Uh-huh. I'm just linking the two concepts together. Airship is one place. Because I know you want an arcade dungeon on the ship. So what I was going to say was just... I've I've abandoned arcade dungeon on the ship. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What I was going to suggest before you told me that... Okay. ...was that we take the stuff you built for this and the textures that you made for this... Mm. And then we could reassemble it into the, the room on the ship because we'd have all the assets for it at that point. Oh, right. Okay. And this would just be the test room. But if you want this room to be something a ship can sail to. Yeah. Then I. Th or not. I don't, I don't know. Maybe my focus is on how cool the room looks. For, for me, it's like, if someone were to come and watch the debut and the room looks fucking awesome, then people are more likely to be like, this is awesome, than if it's like, oh, that's a fun grey box. Sure. I, I don't guess. know. I mean, Maybe I'm just paranoid. I mean, I think um, it's a different in, difference in what we were expecting the stream to be. Maybe. For me, the focus was entirely on, look, we've got multiplayer working. How cool is this? And then they, oh my gosh, look at what an amazing environment this is, was going to be version 2. Yeah, that's fair. Like, I wasn't thinking that multiplayer was going to be, oh my gosh, look how cool this room is. I was thinking multiplayer was going to be, oh my gosh, they've got a bunch of friends in and they can do stuff. And whether yeah. they're doing stuff in a grey box, where they're jumping into sandboxes, going down slides and sitting around, or yeah, whether fair. they're in a really nice environment doesn't change how fun it is. Okay. But I think we can find a balance between the two. I just wasn't expecting this room to then become a canon part of the world that is now just this room apparently exists. Okay. So this room is throwaway. If we approach it that Not way, then we can- Not throwaway. Yeah. Like More like the stuff we're making in here. I was I was gonna use elsewhere. Yeah. Okay. So we can make parts that would will transfer to other places later. Yeah. Basically. And just put the ideas here together. Basically, my priority was on making it a fun place to run around with people rather than a cool place to look at. Yeah. All right. I'm cool with that. Um. Yeah. This is what I had in my head for oh my a sushi thing. Okay. Because when I'm, I'm thinking about people sitting down around a table, I want them to be able to put their stuff on the table. Okay. If they want. Because, like, part of the, the fun of the immersion is being able to grab a drink from the bar and walk over to a table and put it down. Right. Right? Right. If the table still f is too full of stuff for you to be able to put anything on it, then a level of, of that kind of role play is, is broken because you can't do anything other than sit. Yeah. Yeah, Martina, I'm focusing on function rather than aesthetic. And I think Doig is focusing more on aesthetic than function. Yeah. I'm sorry that I didn't realise till now that we were so like two jigsaw pieces that weren't fitting together in terms of what we were looking for. Mm. So maybe what we want is characters that can sit at a like if we want our characters sitting like this mm -hmm. the camera could be here pointing at them and then the stuff's going along in the foreground that'd be cute and then they take something off of here and put it in front of them or I mean, I'm also thinking about like performing to the camera as it were to me there are two fun things there's two fun things okay one of them is a bar 
that someone can get behind for fun and pretend to do stuff. Tick. Okay. The other one is having a table or space where we can all sit together and bring stuff from the bar over to, which has a really nice atmosphere where we can all sit and talk and the camera can see everyone sat down. It's so probably less square then. Kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. And if you're worried about people being able to get up to the bar to get things, we can just make the bar longer and put seats only along one portion of it. Like we could have a little bit on the far left where there aren't any seats so that you can pick up stuff from there. Okay. Or something. You should have, have Barbatar in there as the bartender. I th I'm, we're hoping that Barry's going to be able to come and scrungle with us. So if Barry wants to go behind the bar, he certainly can. The bartender, it's very good. So on the pickup, I'd have like a pile of cans and maybe a ramen bowl. And when you press your action button on one of those, the corresponding thing would appear in your, your hands. And, right. Okay. So you could, it's like a one ramen bowl, but it represents endless ramen bowls. Okay. So not the conveyor idea we could well, I mean we could have that too because I think it's a cool idea but this is just what I was seeing in my head uh, this can change if we have other ideas or you'd rather do something else and just giving you what I had and you can take it or leave it got you because it's about what you want too I'm just wanting to build something that works at this point it sounds like I've taken all the wind out of your sails. No. I want you to create you just, something you think is, is cool and fun. Yeah, I will. But I want to make sure that it's in line with what you were thinking. Well, all I'm thinking is making sure that this space is going to be functional for the debut. We could get drinks from vending machines. I know you really want your vending machines, so yep. we could totally have some vending machines in there in the corner. Some of the like nice Japanese style ones. Yeah. So maybe we just get we get the ramen off the bar and we get the drinks from the vending machine. Sure. Okay. That way you could have a couple of dishes on the bar so people can choose what kind of thing they want. Yeah. So you could have ramen or you could have sushi or you could have a pizza or something. Yes. I like that. Yeah. And then people can just choose what they want to bring to the table. For the table, do you think we should be sat on the floor? Uh, yeah. Takatsu, or do you think, sorry, Kotatsu, or do you think we should be in a booth, or do you think we should be on chairs? Have Onsen's juice box in the vending machine, that's a good idea. I feel like if we have the camera looking, looking like this, mm -hmm. then you'll be able to see people running off to get stuff and bringing it over. <laughs> So I think I'm going to have like an open table here okay. to allow for that. That makes sense. Um, so rather than a booth, because a booth I feel like you'd have to have like seats like here and you'd have to have the camera point here and then you could have stuff on the wall, oh. but... What about insetting it into the ground? Sure. You know, like those fancy uh, restaurants you see where they have uh, katatsus that are like the little uh, pillow seating areas 
I'll set down a little bit. Yeah, okay. I like that. Yeah. So the Takatsu would be floor level, essentially. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that. Actually, is that would that be weird? Because then I just our heads would be poking up above the ground. <laughs> well, you're not going to be looking at it from floor level. I mean, we could always have the uh, bar be raised up rather than to Takatsu sunk down. Yeah. I don't know. Like a little stairs. Stairs on up there. Or something. Yeah. We could have um, three or four different drinks in the vending machine, so you get a random one. Look, it's a Katatsu. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they sunk. Oh, yeah. They sunk the feet thing. There you go. Is that what you meant? Yeah. Kind of, except I was seeing it as being like a little, a little wider around the table, but still pretty good. I genuinely like sitting on the floor like that to eat. It's my favorite. It's nice, isn't it? Katatsu are cozy. Not that I've ever sat under one. I really want one. I feel like the cats would love a Katatsu. Maybe we put the bar like behind the dance floor. No, no. There isn't something nice about being able to see the dance floor in the background of the bar, so that if someone's dancing out there, it's just you're all chatting and just just someone fucking it up on the dance floor behind you. Yeah, it could be nice to have a um, camera here. Yeah. I agreed. That fall says, I don't know why, but I'm imagining a pile of plushies or pillows somewhere in the corner you have to build a fort or to dive and hide in. Yes, I think we're definitely going to have that. We're going to put some like shapes in, I think is the, is the idea, building blocks. And people can use them to build whatever they want. So we should we, should, should we start building this? I, I think that you've got a good enough idea here. I think this is solid. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, let's go. You feeling good about it? You still sound off. I'm off all the time anyway. No, you're not. No, you're not. You've been yeah. on the last couple of days. I feel like me trying to help has ruined it. <laughs> I never like being directed, so don't worry about it. I'm not trying to direct you. I'm trying to keep the scope manageable and keep you focused on building things which are going to be able to be used rather than just things that look cool. Mm -hmm. I suppose that is directing you. Yep. Uh, arcade dungeon. Well, on the bright side, I have to leave now anyway. That's not a bright side. No, don't go. You've got at least another 45 minutes here. 45 minutes? Yeah. I meant to sell work at nine. No. It's quarter to 10. No. And they're really thwacking that bush, right? They really are thwacking that bush. Can you guys hear that? There's someone outside who's like, I think they must be doing the like, little outside communal garden bit and they're just like, they're just going for it with some kind of bush trimmer. Look what I made earlier. Here's one you made earlier. Yeah. What the heck? Look, you got some shapes and stuff in there too. Oh, there's some vending machines. They're arcade machines. Sorry. That's fine. Yeah, I stole these. For some reason, this one is for Blender. <laughs> I love it when I get to make stuff on an arcade machine. 
Is it the kins making that sound? What trimming our hedges? <laughs> zoom, I wish zoom, they did zoom, that. Zoom. I can close the window. It's actually, it's getting annoying. Yeah, let's, let's close the window. Thank you. Ah, ah, there we go. The sweet sound of silence. <laughs> They're just, I can hear them behind my head now. It's okay though. It's much better. Kuma got a hold of a little strimmer. <laughs> I got really worried this morning because I couldn't find him. Where was he? Have you seen him yet? He was in his little, um, you know, the gray yeah. triangle thing. He was sleeping in there. He started doing that. Yeah. I've seen him in there because I'm in the living room working a lot of the time and I see him go in. Okay. Yeah, I, I just didn't look for him there. So I was like, did he go out the window? Where is he gone? Imagine someone successfully finding a way to get Blender functional with an arcade machine. That person would be a hero. Imagine modeling things on, on a Blender arcade machine. Would you like a circular table or a square table? I quite like the one that you had in your sketch because it felt like it was going to work with the camera well. I don't know though, people can always shift around, can't they? If it's big enough. Okay, well, we could have a mesh collider for a circular table. Uh -huh. That would probably work. I just think a circular table feels more... Communal? Yeah. All right. Okay. Then we'll go with this. Ha ha. Ha ha. Where are you going? Is this the right room though? What do you mean is this the right room? I don't know. It looks so different to the one that you have. Maybe it's just the difference between it being in Blender and Unity. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is the this is the Blender you version always, of it. You always talk to me as though I'm like so dumb for asking, but I don't know how this stuff I works. I don't talk to you like you're dumb. I talk to you like I'm di I'm tired and grumpy. Oh, do you want me to get you anything? Do you want some OJ? Yeah. <laughs> do you want anything else? Yeah. What do you want? A smooch. I'll give you a smooch and an OJ. Yeah, Is okay. Is there anything else you want? No. Okay. I'm just being my own, own stream persona. Why are you giving me the finger? How dare you? How dare. Sweet, sweet OJ. Sweet, sweet OJ. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Your face was freaking out a little bit. Was it? <laughs> yeah. It does that. I do. So something like this. might need to be a little bit more raised and the area might need to be less sunken down because think about <laughs> think about our little legs think about how short the animata are mm. how are so, they going to be sat so may maybe 
Is it easy just to have pillows on the floor and not have a sunk area? Well, maybe the sunk area is filled with pillows. Right, and they sit where? So rather than having this sunken... Uh-huh. I don't know, I was imagining a booth, like, like a Katatsu booth or something. Okay. You said you didn't want Ray stuff around it. So you could see to the bar. That's true. But like, if we're going to be sat with our legs dangling over the edge, then it makes sense. If we're not going to be sat with our legs dangling over the edge, maybe we should just sit on the floor. But a sunken floor. Um, if you like. How you how you imagine people sitting? Um, <clears throat> probably right on here. So with the legs over the gap, or sat cross-legged? Yeah. So maybe maybe like still thinking about it. thinking about it yeah. i was waiting for you you told me to give you I, a sec no, to think no. <laughs> i'm just asking you a question how are you seeing the animata sitting around it i was thinking maybe like it would have a little back support and then mm -hmm. <clears throat> have how are you actually seeing them sitting though dog sitting here right how what do you mean? What do you mean? Are you, how? See, are you seeing them sitting cross-legged? Are you yes. seeing them sitting, yeah. their sitting feet on the dangling over? Sitting on the ground. Sitting on the ground cross-legged. Yeah. Okay. In this space here. Okay. In that case, is at any point having it sunk down? No. Maybe. Because it's going to make the camera harder to see people, right? If we're all in a pit. Maybe. Mm. I, uh, I'm not sure. Well, let's think it through logically. In terms of where you'd want the camera, what you'd want it to see. Thank you for the follow. I don't suppose you have a little doig you could bring in for scale. Oh, maybe. Uh, give me a sec. What you modeling, Swifty? I'm not modeling anything. This is all doig. This is all doig. Um, I'm trying to be helpful. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing a very good job. was very cute last night she was trying to find a way to lie next to me without lying next to me <laughs> thanks lots of them no nice modeling swift yep we're, we're getting it all right today she's so scrungly Do 
Do I have cursor tracking? No, this is a looping animation. So my head's on face tracking, but the body's... <sighs> Bless you. Bye, bye, bye. The body's looping. It's false advertising. Will there be voices in this game? Certainly. Certainly there will. No, there will not. Not in the way that you're asking. Wait, what do you mean voices? Their name is Grab the Mic VA. They're asking if you need voices for the game. Oh! Or oh, the voices of our friends. This is basically, we're making a big hangout area for us to hang out with our pals in, so. Nice fart. There you are! <laughs> Look at you! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my pizza party. <laughs> We're gonna have to give everyone a sit at him. Yeah, we are. Stop farting. <laughs> we could just make them the way that you make them though, where you just stick the legs out and then transform the body down. It works for us. Yeah. I'll fill that catastrophe with ball fit balls. Don't tempt us. Oh, I'll grab the mic, VA. Says I feel silly now. Have a nice day, though. Sorry for making you feel silly. Dog's just bad tempered. But you're super welcome to hang out here if you want. Like, we love voice actors. We actually work in animation. So we do a lot of stuff where, you know, we might need voice actors in the future and stuff. What kind of stuff do you like doing? Yeah, we're ma we're trying to make a uh, multiplayer thing that us and a couple of friends we can jump in, and it's a, almost like a multiplayer VTube thing. Uh, so unless you want to do like an announcer thing, like game or whatever, uh, there's not much scope for for like we're not making like a narrative game or anything. Grab the mic says I'm pretty new to the industry, so I've just been trying to find take the initiative on finding projects. Are you looking for like games in particular? Or are you like, I want to do cartoons, or... And then you get your grubby mitts on. Nice. Nice. Sorry, I'm itching my nose and my face tracking is going bonkers. I mean, that's good to know. Like I said, we do animation most of the time. Uh, that's kind of our bread and butter. And I'm hoping that I can do some more personal projects in the future. So I might be looking for voice actors at some point. Yeah, it's a hustle man, day in, day out. I hope you find something. I wonder if Pirate Software might have any advice as well. Um, Pirate Software is a company run by Thor, who's the one who streams. He's super cool. He's making his own game called Heartbound. Um, there's no VA needed for that, but he's pretty well connected in the games industry. And uh, he knows a lot of what's going on with the indie scene too. So he can be a good person to talk to about stuff like that. They told you that their game Heartbound will never have voices. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, Heartbound doesn't need voices. But um, you might know other game stuff which maybe could benefit from voices. You never realized that it was Thor making Heartbound. Really? Oh my gosh, no way! I'd be embarrassed if that was what <laughs> I thought too. Captain Dio, what? No! I don't believe you, you have to have known. He's programming it. Yeah, of course, grab the mic. I hope that you find some stuff. It can be hard when you're looking. It's worth it though, find a good project. Oh yeah, that's a great idea, NK Arts. NK says they're currently running a game jam right now. So maybe one of the successful projects could grow and acquire voice acting. That's, that's true. true. They do a game jam every 
like every quarter i think so every couple of months um so you could hop into a team as a voice actor and be like hey i want to work on a game jam my skill is in voice acting is anyone interested in doing something that'd be pretty rad you wouldn't know how to connect with them. Well, Thor's the person who organises it. So you just have to jump into his server, which I think is public. And then they organise the game jams in there. And when they have the run up to the game jam, people who are looking for teams post. Letting people know they're looking for others to collaborate with. So you could pop a post in there when the next game jam's coming and be like, hey, I'm a voice actor. I want to get on a game jam. So this is it sunken into the floor. Yeah. You could pop the camera where you're thinking you might want to pop it for this. And see if you you think it would work with you guys being being in the floor. What's the hot key for doing that? Uh it's uh full stop, isn't it? To to frame selected. Is it? Well, I'm not trying to frame a slide. I'm trying to make a, um, a camera appear here or oh. move the camera to here. I don't know that one. I only know one. <laughs> and it's the one I just told you. I think it might be like control zero or something. Has it just put a camera in some weird place? Yeah, now I'm in orthographic. No! Anything but that. Can you copy and paste Dogglebar a couple of times? I can in a sec, once up in the camera thing. Cool, 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 cool. I think you're looking for a line view, a line active camera to view. That's it, control alt one pad, boom. sort of um, vocal dance you think we should use for intimate social gathering? Hmm. I think a slightly flatter one would work for that. So what's that in millimeters? It's a long lens. Um, so a higher focal length. So uh, this is 90. Yeah. And then you, you pull back it should flatten everything out which feels more sitcomish cat says Mah! in the background yeah. there's something that lets you like yeah camera to view there we go thanks this is my favorite. This is where you position the camera with the usual viewport things, but. Ooh. 
So I think this is the phrase of today that Doyle's going to hate hearing from me. Um, my opinion is that when you have the camera eye level, it feels more intimate. So sinking them in is not good. Not that sinking them in is not good, just that if you're going to possess, position a camera to observe the table and the people chatting around it, I think you'll get a more intimate feeling if you're eye level, because the audience will feel like they're in there with the characters than if you have a more surveillance level thing where you're looking down at them like a uh, security camera. So is eye level like here? Uh, I don't know. Well, this is Doig's eyes. So where's eye level on Doig? Like this? Yeah, closer to that. <laughs> Point of view, you're serving Doig a pizza. <laughs> He's ready. Yeah, like, so that's not exactly eye level, it's slightly above, right? But it still works. It still feels more intimate, I think. So maybe we want to face into the room and put the bar back here or something. popular in the great table of doigs it's the council of doigs okay <laughs> we're deciding how to uh respond to your production management skills yeah give us five doigs oh hello When you when you see them, think about the position that you want the camera to be shooting from. Because wow. you're gonna want them to be in the place where you want the camera to shoot, right? Yeah. So make sure you position them in where that frame is gonna be. Why is this making you <laughs> laugh so much? It's really funny. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you would laugh at this. <laughs> Give them pizza already. They're waiting. I need another. You want another? Yes. Are we going to have five people? Um, well, we could very well have five people. Okay. We could very well have more than five people, but I think five people is likely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's your frame size currently? Is it 1920 by 1080? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Which is what we would have. Yeah. Okay, you know what? In this scenario, I think it would be helpful for you to have a lower focal length. Because it's going to push the people closer, closer to the camera and the people further away from the camera, further away and add some nice separation. So bring it right down to like 30 or below and then push the camera in. it's less funny now okay well it's because it's probably because you've lost a sitcom lens yeah that that's that's that's, that's crazy so Isn't it? The, the sitcom lens they do like really far ones really is yeah. that is that how it works they tend to have flatter yeah they tend to have flatter lenses um it does work doesn't it yeah 
if you want uh, Rise of the Human Tea, they tend to use lower lenses, mm -hmm. uh, as in deeper lenses. But you have to move closer, and it gives you more distortion yeah. on the figures. So it's great for like action scenes, but flat lenses are great for comedy, which is probably why sitcoms use them a lot. Anywho, I have to go. But I believe in you, dog. Take all the producery knowledge I've thrown your way and make it cool. Oh yeah, I called this place the hole. <laughs> is, is that cool? Did you hear me? Yes, producery knowledge away. You're going. I got you. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> all right. Uh, I love you. Have a good day. Yeah, whatever. Nah, let me come over. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thanks for all your help. Aww. You really did. I'm just a grump. Oh, got a hug. Oh, this is the best. Oh, you're welcome. Have a great day. I'm, I'm gonna leave you alone now, so you'll be free. No, <laughs> don't go. I gotta go. go. I have to. Go. I have work. Go. I must. Go. I'm sorry. I have to. Go. You let go now. No, let go now. Ah, you have to. You have to let me go. No. I love you. I'll make you eat a broccoli. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. -bye. I like that your face is ended up like that. Yeah, it sure has. This is ominous. We could have a couple of camera shots, like one here, one here. Maybe not. They're, t they're they're comparing graphs together. That's what they're doing. Dark vault. Yeah, I feel like I feel like looking into the room is going to be more interesting than looking out like like this. But maybe I'm wrong.
Yeah, so maybe we're sitting like this. And then we got a couple of... Bending machines. I might, I think I might just head off um, and get on with stuff because I feel like it's just going to be a lot of thinking and planning and whatnot. So, um, yeah. Do we have anybody we want to raid? Yeah, well, let's raid Fan. That'd be awesome. Okay. Thanks, Martina. All right, everybody. Hey, <laughs> I'm going to aim for a productive day. Hope you've had a good time this morning. And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, where's the end screen here? Uh, there we are. All right, take care and may the rest of your day be filled with adventure. Take care, everybody.
adventurers upload Minecraft on Life Goes. How's it going, Doi Candles? How was your stream? Your gaming a bit earlier than normal today. Well, I was expecting to see you see both when I was finished. Right now, we're still working on our first model. I wish you'd been adjusting the hair so that we uh, have one private podcast. I think. Yeah, they got the message. They got the message.